Hello everybody, my name is Mathis and welcome back to Dishonored. We escaped. We escaped and now we're in the sewers where it says no trespassing, but I'm trespassing. Okay, we don't know where we're going other than sewers. Apparently I'm allowed to be on this. That's cool. I gotta figure out like the geometry or just how this game works as far as what I'm allowed to mess with and what I'm not. Because my initial uh, episode there from prior, I obviously was in the wrong about what I could do. All right, go to the sewers. I have escaped Cold Ridge Prison with the help of hidden allies. You can now reach Ren Haven River. They promise to aid you in your, or aid your next move, rather. I was gonna say aid you in your quest, but it's not what it says, man. I don't have my weapons. The outsider walks among us. Sure. I sure do. Let's keep my weapons out, shall we? All right, find the supply chest in the sewers. Well, I'm glad people keep supply chests in the sewers still. It's a time-honored tradition. Okay, someone's talking. That doesn't happen by accident. You think he had help? Who'd know how to do that? Bottle Street gang, maybe. Watch for booby traps. Could be some down. Ah, note from a friend. Corvo, if you're reading this, it means our plan worked and you've fr broken free from Coldridge. One of our contacts has hidden weapons for you somewhere deeper in the sewers. Grab the gear and find Samuel where these tunnels dump out into the river. He will bring you to us. A friend who will meet you soon. Right. If we're lucky, one of them will get Corvo. You're afraid of him? He's Sir Conan. It's all merchants and whores down there. Kids like you, you never saw what he was like. I saw him fight three to one in the practice yard. I'm a whirlwind man. I hope it is too. I'm a whirlwind. He came in like a giant whirlwind. Never able to. Okay. What? Really? Shit, man. Oh god. Are they gonna stop? Great. No, that's great. I'm super excited about man-eating rats. So by the plague, did they mean... Man-eating rat monsters? Dear lord, they ate them, like, straight up. Bones and all those rats don't fuck around, man. Well, that's interesting. Well, I can't go in there. You know what? That might be a blessing in disguise. You cannot kill the rat plague. No one will keep us from death. Okay. This, uh, it's a bundle of positivity down here. Really. Don't bother me, rats. Oh, shit. Uh. Huh. Uh. Should I stay in the water, or what? I guess I do have to go in the water here. That's fine. It's probably safer from the rats in the water. I'm gonna go back and make sure there's no, like, hidden secrets or anything over here. Does not look like it, which is good. So rats are gonna be some sort of, uh, menace, apparently, that I'm gonna have to deal with. Blood from the eyes. What does that even mean? You can speak more clearly in your... Graffiti. That would, of course, be ideal. Hello. Hey. Oh, you're dead. That's unfortunate. Yeah, you're just kind of hanging out. Damien's journal. Amanda and I had only enough coin to buy half the elixir we needed. Even that's all gone now, and there's nothing to do but wait. We're very sick, and there's no place above to hide from the city to watch. They're breaking into houses all over our districts. So we'll stay here and share the last hours together. Our fire will keep the rats away, but they'll inherit this city. Yo, man, I'm sorry. You got anything on you, though? No? I, mean, I kind of wish you had a little something-something on you. Huh. Yeah. Can I go over here? Okay, no. Okay, game is, is not happy about what I was doing. No trespassing. I don't understand why they just got a light shining on that one sign. Excuse me, I just want to read these posters. Thank you. 
Blue powder, best quality. Boots, let's say. No one will keep us from death. Okay, same stuff as always. Kill the rats. Kill the rats, kill the rats. Sure, man. I'm gonna go over here. The outsider walks among us. I really don't know what the hell you're talking about. Am I the outsider? I am the outsider. I wonder if I could like feed him to the rats. Okay. Come on, buddy. I have a feeling I'll need you. Maybe not. But there's a body down there now if the rats wish it. Oh, I thought there was a ladder back there. I'm clearly wrong. These guys got like straight up just food storage back here. Living the life of kings in the sewers. Here, stay quiet. Oh, hey, some body. Screw that. That's too far. I don't want to catch the play, do you? No. Doesn't the elixir prevent it? Maybe. Either way, let's just dump them down there. Let the rats eat them. Well, not gonna lie. It's probably the smartest option that they have. So, I can toss the body, presumably at the rats, so that I can go lift up that one, like, turn that knob. Alright, don't you worry about a thing. Rats! Here. Thank you. Oh, don't do that. Okay, you guys stay there. Don't want to deal with you. Attention, Dunwall citizens. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as to his whereabouts must be delivered to the city watch at once. Climb chains by jumping on them or pressing F1 near. Got it. Rat skewer. I feel like eating rats? It's probably a poor life decision in this world. The outsider. This is a lot of outsider talking. <sighs> Okay, nope, up. Very Half-Life controls. Whee, I can spin around them. No, nope, up, all the way. I'm supposed to go this way, which means I'm gonna explore over here. Hello. A healing thing, pouch, some money. The skull. For rent! Oh, fuck, man. What kind of price do you think he's asking for this? Disarm and loot. Got the incendiary bolt. Good to know. Works for me. So far, so good. I saw you. Copper wire. Is there a crafting mechanic? Rotten Tivian pear. Well, I'm fully healed, so I'm not gonna risk putting food in my mouth that is also possibly rotten. I feel like that's also a, a large mistake. Pouch. Money. It's a dead dude up there. Why are just like gentlemanly dead people down here? There's a lot of just gentlemanly dead people down here. To the Lord Protector. Greetings, Corvo, or should I say Lord Protector, as you were known before the title was wrongfully taken from you. We are servants of the Empire and of the True Empress, a group of loyalists who want very much to meet you. Take these weapons crafted for you of the finest materials in the Isles and meet with our man Samuel near where these tunnels will spill into the Ra uh, Renhaven River. All haste and luck, we share a common purpose. Oh shit. Oh hell yeah. Look at all these clothes. All right. 
Uh, press and hold blank to quick access wheel. Assigning a hotkey to a weapon or power by selecting that item in the quick access wheel and pressing a shortcut key. There are ten shortcut keys, blah, blah. Okay. Crossbow, incendiary bolt, regular bullet, crossbow, sleeping dart. So I can just press buttons. I'd rather have the sleeping dart. Because I'd rather not murder anybody. That's the goal. You are in the way. So enjoy your swim. Don't worry about a thing. Hang on. The Lord Regent is a shriveled prick and a liar. Well, I mean, they're not wrong. Two hemlock essence. I don't know what that is. The body's getting <laughs> clipping on something down there. That's, yeah. I got, I, I slid before and it was really cool. Jelly's share. Jelly, in case you're too daft to remember to look your uh, to look to your whiskey for the answer. Whiskey, got it? If you want your share, you'll, you'll sort it out. If not, I'll come back for it next month. Don't worry, boo. I got your money. Combination required. Shit. I'm assuming on the whiskey bottle I'll have a combination or something. I'm just looking 782. Nope. Seven. Eight. Two. Combination required. Well, is this not the whiskey? Seven eight two. Seven eight two. It's really hard. All right. Oh, four, five, one. Found it. Found it. Found it on the shelf. I'm like looking way too hard for what I think I need. Four, five, one. Ugh. I don't think I ever unlocked this last time I played. Not that I would remember, but Oop, don't knock me off. Uh, Murray Jewel Box. $50. And then just like books and stuff and an elixir which heals me. Works for me. Okay, let's disarm this thing. Everybody loves incendiary bolts in this world so far, it seems. Okay. I can just kind of scooch up here. We haven't come across any other enemies so far. I feel like the time is right. Do you know who we're hunting here? I'll try to take him out alone. But what if no one from the squad is around? Then try to make a lot of noise when you die. Knock something over if you can. Bastard. How about you don't? Just let me choke you out. I promise I'll make it peaceful. It smells like a dead weeper in here. Don't worry about me. Assassin is coming for you. Really, you gotta pee? What was that? Stay alert, you worm. Not getting out this way on my watch. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now you just stay right here. I think you had something on your body, but I had to get you quickly. So don't worry about it. I have a sleeping dart if I ever need it. This guy's just cranky about life, man. Hmm. Ah! Hey, what was that? I know I heard something. Okay. Hey, wake up! 
Shit. Nasty furry filth. He slipped. I wasted two sleeping darts, but that's okay. Nope. 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 Good night, sir. Good night. Now, just, I'll take that. Sleepy McGee over here. I'll just take whatever you had on you. And I got through that without killing anyone. Thank God. And they stepped on a rat, the, the, the wily bastards. Now, I was able to break wood before. Yeah. Excuse me. Coming through. King Sparrow Feathers, sure. Dead Hermit's Note. It's here by the Renhaven, I'll make my last home. It stinks to the void, but my grandmum's hagfish stew will drive the, the odor away. I remember sailing out of this river to the great ocean, that vast blinding light and blue water. I was a tender 15 and our nets were always full to bursting. The old days before everything went to shit. Anyway, it goes. It's either the boots of the watch against my skull, the teeth of the rats on my bones, or the trembles of the plague all over my skin. Don't matter none to me. All right. Just being uh, just a real Debbie Downer. Look, if Corvo didn't have the plague before, he fucking has it now. All the sewer and shit I'm walking in, goddamn. Hello. Are you the hermit? You probably were the hermit. You dress nicely for a hermit, though. I'll give you that. Props, bro. Sounds like the way out, baby! Hello. Doing some half-life shit. The assassin Corvo, responsible for the murder of our fair empress and the disappearance of Lady Emily, heir to the throne, has temporarily escaped state custody. Any evidence as did not must be delivered to the city. I was wrongfully imprisoned. You dicks. I didn't do nothing. Hello, I made it. Hey. I'm a friend. Yeah, are you? I've got daylight. Oh, daylight. I'm Samuel. And I work for some good people who want very much to meet you. Well, they said you'd come out here. I can still hardly believe it. I'll take you to meet them. Just down the river from here. All right, old man, let's go. I did it. I found almost all the coins. Everything, there's nothing else to find. Hostiles killed, two. Ghost never detected, hell yeah, even though I probably, you know, was a little bit. Dead or unconscious bodies found, four. Overall chaos, low. Has discovered the hermit's room and opened Jelly's safe. Sweet. I'm happy about that. The Hound Pub. Hidden in an old bar on the river, your new allies have plans to share with you. Meet with the loyalist inner circle to learn what they've got in mind. Sure. Why not? This is the Hound Pits Pub. Closed for business. Half the district marked off is dead from the plague. We're right under the Lord Regent's nose, and he don't know a thing. Of course, if anyone finds out what we're up to, the watch will break in with swords drawn. And now that you've escaped, the Lord Regent's going to be tearing the city apart. Okay, thanks. Take you up to meet Admiral Havelock and the rest of the warriors. The Admiral's a man to be reckoned with. If anyone can help you find that missing girl, Lady Emily, and clear your name, he can. Thanks, buddy. We're at the Hound Pub. So this would be like the hub world, if I remember correctly. It's kind of like where I get my missions and shit. Samuel, the boatman, has smuggled you across the river from Coldridge Prison. He works from a, for an underground movement opposed uh, to the illegal reign of the Lord Regents and has brought you to meet the members of the organization. Works for me. Now, I'm trying to remember from back when I played this last time 
like what secrets there are. I'm pretty sure there are stuff. There is stuff like around in this in this like hub world that I can find, but I should just go about my normal bullshit I first. I expect they're hard at work in there. Best join them. They'll help you get whoever really killed the Empress. Okay. Let's check the keyhole. Even after six months in Cold Ridge Prison, he slipped out like it was nothing. Yes. Not surprising. He was the personal bodyguard of the Empress. You've heard the stories. Yes, I have. It still amazes me that someone could get to the Empress and young Lady Emily. No one knows the real story, Trevor. We all have our suspicions. We'll know the truth in time. He's strong and quick. But I hope he understands subtlety as well. This isn't one of your fancy dress parts. The reality is that we need men killed. Have you ever killed a man? Only with my wit. But it's a fair point, as always. He'll be here soon, and I'm looking forward to meeting him. Hmm, interesting. Hello? We can continue this later, Lord Pendleton. The man of the hour is here. Corvo, I'm Admiral Havelock. A true servant of the Empire, like you. Until the Lord Regent purged those of us who wouldn't recognize his claim on the throne. And I'm Lord Trevor Pendleton. I represent the nobility in our little group. But we all act as equals here at the Hound Pits pub. This is a momentous occasion, Corvo. I'm going to come out with you. We've been building a coalition of loyalists aimed at ending the Lord Regent's tyranny and restoring the throne. At risk of execution, we're committed to finding young Lady Emily and seeing her crowned as Empress. We've got big plans. But we can't do any of it without you. We need your skills, your ability in a fight. And in helping us, we're going to help you destroy the men who murdered the Empress. Sorry, you must be exhausted. We can discuss this further after you've recovered. But before you retire, you should introduce yourself to Piero. He's challenging at times, but his industrious mind buys him that right. Yes, Piero's as much an artist as a technician. He's going to be crafting the gear you'll need. Go talk to him, and then get some sleep. We can talk more when you've rested. Good to know. Inventor who's able to craft and upgrade equipment. He spends most of his time in his workshop. Okay. Well, that's where we'll go. But first, we loot everything. That's right. There's this money lying around. You guys, for, you know, a ragtag operation, I feel like money would be at a premium. So maybe don't, you know, leave cash lying around. It's a bit of a waste. Hello? Free money? All I want is free money. I'll be crafting your weapons and gear. All custom work. For you, I will create the tools of the all right, I didn't even say hi yet. No, this cannot happen now. The tank of whale oil is running. Will you get a new tank from upstairs, please, while I hold this in place? Be careful. Oil's unstable. When it explodes, there is a terrible mess. Your voice acting is terribly weird, and that looks like a portal from Portal. Door to nowhere. What? The door to nowhere has proven to be a safety hazard, but for me, this project is an endless source of inspiration. With the proper application of energies, I believe I can transform the door frame into a window of sorts, one that will allow a traveler to cover the distance from my workshop to some distant, arbitrary point in a single step. Currently, the step leads to a sheer drop uh, straight down into the courtyard, but in time it will bridge gaps that will boggle the mind. Such work is many years away, to be sure, but if I survive this plague, I'm sure to succeed. Oh, straight up! That is straight up, he's working on a portal. I did not know that. That's cool. I'm into it, dude. All right, well, that's uh, so much stuff to read. Um, let's grab this stuff. I want to know the lore, so be out, bear with me. Teaches that absurd idea that the energy in whale oil arises from the need to maintain life functions at extreme ocean depths. The pressure in the cold are too much to endure without it. I speculate that a human being might 
by a process of adaptation, produce high energy humors in the body. I could build a tank that would slowly increase pressure on a subject over a long period of time and then observe them for years if need be to see if the formulation of energetic substances develop. Surely the Empress would be able to furnish me with facilities subject to the necessary legal amnesty. All right, you want to toy with things. Got it. The Dead Counter Responsibilities. Excerpt from a manual on new City Watch procedures. Commissioned by the Lord Regent in the face of the growing plague crisis, the Dead Counter is a position that will only be given to officers, usually of junior or middle grades. In most matters of edict or curfew enforcement, these officers will defer to the acting officer on duty. However, any dead counter will have command in situations related to the plague and the handling of the dead, including those with late-stage plague symptoms, called weepers in common parlance. Starting in the month of rain, interested officers may apply for the test and, if accepted, for the two-week training tour. Pay will be administered in coin and rations of elixir at one and a half normal pay grade. So you deal with the dead, you get paid more. Excerpt from a series of lectures on natural philosophy. Of course I have attempted to improve upon Sokolov's designs. Of course. And why not? After all, it is likely that, this, that his thinking was influenced at some, in some small way by our time together at the Academy. We are all part of a community striving to unknot the mysteries of the cosmos. Even those among us that, uh, who possess the greatest minds are often led to a fruitful line of consideration by, how does, not, how does one say it, our intellectual subordinates. Sokolov is no exception to this, despite the glamour of genius he has cast over the aristocracy. And further, it is true that many of my experiments have failed. No need to gossip about it behind my back in your social clubs and in the very chambers of the academy itself. Great ambition requires risks. You may laugh now at my door to nowhere, but someday you will not. Your children will likely see it as, a common, as commonly as you see the electric lamps lighting our streets at night. But a few short years ago, you would have laughed at Sokolov's arc pylon or wall of light. Your laughter, your condescending smiles, they are nothing but evidence of your own limited imagination. Alright, good to know. The hound pits, there's dog fighting. A lot of animals in this world. Whale visits vivisection. Um, remarkably, each specimen I had the pleasure of studying during the voyage possessed some minor variants in physiology. On the second leg of the trip east of Tivia, the crew hauled aboard a female some 42... Well, I'm assuming that means feet in length... I estimate she weighed 35 tons, and the ship sat low, rocking side to side through the night with her thrashing. By candlelight, I took her apart, uh, sketching and taking notes. Against her bellowing, I cut into the mass of tentacles around her mouth. Within, a few, uh, within I found row upon row of teeth and a baleen running along the upper jaw. Through this broom-like structure, I assume she filtered food from the water that was too small to be chewed. Great. You just... A live goddamn live one. Just ripped it open. Out at sea, they secured the beast with hooks with lines cast from the main ship and from so several smaller boats. Buoys keep the whale from diving deep. Once it's caught, a larger hook is driven through the tail, which is used to hoist the creature up through the chute. They moan and bellow for some time as the men get them onto the deck, then lift them into the uh, scaffolding overhead. The ship adjusts its prow, returns to port in Dunwall, where the crew works on the great creature, slicing off the fattest parts while it still lives. That is just sad as all hell, man. Really? Sokolov no longer has the helper hand with the regard to supply, uh, supplies of whale oil. The good admiral has paid for the installation of my own system, which will enable me to work in this place. The oil tank dispenser, when activated, will produce, produce an empty... Blah, blah, blah. The system is sound, well engineered. Has done something correctly for once. The Greaves Oil Company. It's just telling me how it worked. Sure. I don't know if this shit will blow up, but I'm assuming it will. Perfect. Now plug it in. Yeah, no problem. Just perfect. Thank you, Cole. Here, see? The Assassin's Mask. You're a wanted man, so everyone in the city knows your face. This mask will mean terror to them. If you just hold still, fit must be precise. There. Can you see normally? Not really. Lens out of alignment. There. Better now? I could create more for you. 
upgrades for your gear, weapons, munitions. But our situation here is desperate. Scavenge the city for valuables, and I will resell them on the black market. That should give us the money to craft the things you need. Tell me what I can make for you. All right, sure. Rewire tool allows you to rewire circuitry and turn systems to your advantage. Consumed on usage. Sleep bolts, probably, but let's take a look at upgrades. Sleep dart sedate effects is immediate, even in combat. How much do I have? I have, I have enough for like one upgrade. Maybe I want to like upgrade my mask. Bullet capacity, yeah, bolt capacity. Why don't we unlock bolt capacity for now, and then we can buy some sleep bolts. Max out on those. Yeah, let's do that. You must be exhausted. I advise that you get some sleep. Your life will get even more difficult soon. You should rest while you can. You're right. I'll head to my room for rest. I'd like to look around town for a while before I lie down. You know best. Let me know if you need anything more. Sure, man. They told me that you were tough to work with, but dude, you just let me do whatever the fuck I want. I appreciate that. Star chart, southern skies. It's just worth money, apparently. Straight up, just worth cash. Can I, like, steal the key off of you? Yo, don't leave, because I want to see if I can steal a key off of you. Nope. Well, ooh, can I go over here? What's that noise? I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing this, but I'm trying. Not like I need to sneak around anyway. Kind of part of the family, you know what I'm saying? Boo! River hmm. traffic is forbidden from landing in the distillery district. Due to risk of infectious What up, girl? Oh my. Violators will be taken to the flood. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, girl. I suppose you're practicing for your well, your job. You're much younger than I expected. Do make yourself at home. Terrible you got blamed for the death of the Empress, rest her spirit. What's up, baby? Don't mind me. Stop it. Well, I didn't do anything. Pouch of money. I'm stealing from the maids. I'm stealing from the help. I feel kind of like a dick. Litany of the White Cliff. But we'll continue this on next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm having fun playing the game. I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Don't know when these episodes are going to be going up. I'll figure that out soon enough. Uh, let me know what you guys think in a new series like this. Oh, shit, girl. You got a key on you? Do not attempt to house or Wait care for a friend or family member who shows signs. You got a key on you. All right, whatever. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.